Hello guys, welcome back to our Healthy Habits show. I hope that last week you went and you bought your basil and you tried it. Thank you for the feedback that you gave. We're continually trying to ensure that we inspire you to live a healthier and happy lifestyle. Today on this episode, we are going to be talking about chickpeas. Now chickpeas is a, is a healthy protein alternative for anyone that is vegetarian. So we are going to go through three different recipes of how you can cook your chickpeas at home. So to begin, we are going to make a chickpea hummus. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to drain your chickpeas. You're going to drain your chickpeas. Keep the drain that you would have taken from your chickpeas. Others want to skin the chickpeas off, but I, I think that the roughage is here. So depending on your preference, either you skin it or you're going to leave it with its skins. You're going to need your olive oil, your cumin, and your salt and pepper, and your blender. Now, hummus is used when you are having a snack at home, you're going to use it as a dip. You're going to add in one teaspoon of cumin, You're going to add four tablespoons of your olive oil. Add salt and pepper to taste. Then to allow consistency for your blender to blend, you're then going to add your... After blending, you are going to have a nice creamy dip, which is what we call hummus. Now, you use your hummus for dips like this with your crackers, with your fries, whilst you guys are chilling as a starter or however it is. So this is one way you can use your chickpeas. Next up, we are going to make falafel balls with our chickpeas. We're going to need coriander, cayenne pepper, ground cumin, salt, parsley, flour, baking powder, oil, and salt to taste. Now, falafel balls, colloquially, you're making something like you're making patties, except this is an Indian dish. It's very flavored because you're adding your herbs that have a strong flavor. You're going to take your drained chickpeas. You want to blend it into a paste. You need lemon juice. Blend it together with your lemon juice. You're going to pour your chickpea paste. You will need a cup of coriander for a 400 gram tin of chickpeas. So you're also going to add your parsley. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients. Cayenne pepper, three tablespoons of flour, and I'll mix. Okay. So you're going to bring in your butter into a hot pan and you will turn your falafels until they have browned for about 15 minutes. So when you break it, the inside is like this. It's nice and fluffy. So as you eat, you're just going to be dipping. So those are the two recipes that you can try at home with your chickpeas. Like I said, it's a great alternative for protein for people that are vegetarian. You can do this for your kids, a great way of enjoying your chickpeas. Outside of doing curries or roasted chickpeas, you can try these amazing recipes. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next week. Cheers.